Hello friends, welcome to our channel Creating Essence. I am Megan. I'm Josh. Thank you so much for stopping by today. We always get a lot of questions when Josh pops up in a video, so I figured we would do a questions and answers video with him of the questions most commonly asked in the comments as well as the questions that were asked when I put up a post on Instagram asking for your questions for him. So here we go. All right, babe. Whose idea was it to homeschool? Yours. Have you always been supportive of the idea? Uh, yes, I would say 90% supportive. And then that last 10% is, is whenever you seem to be struggling or having a hard time. And I'm just like, well, what's all this? Is it really worth it? Because <laughs> um, I think if it was up to me um, and I was doing the homeschooling full time, it, it wouldn't happen because um, I don't have the patience. And the last part of that question, this is from Foxtail Meadow School of Discovery on Instagram, by the way. Thank you for your question. <laughs> um, are you involved with the teaching at all? Um, I get a Mayday call once in a while if um, there's a concept that seems to be not going over very well. <laughs> um, I think sometimes because we have two very different types of brains that... Um, I might be able to explain things in a more rudimentary way uh, that might connect more with the kids. Um, sometimes I overcomplicate things by um, having a direct opposite explanation for how to resolve a problem, um, which never goes over well. So did you always want to have a large family? Uh, no. Um, I always saw myself as maybe a two kid. Uh, dad, um, but things happened, and uh, it's 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 not that bad. I mean, I feel like <laughs> I, I feel like once you're overwhelmed, there's no like worse overwhelm. It's it's just overwhelmed. <laughs> Do you think Jim Gaffigan's description of having a lot of kids is accurate? Where he says that imagine you're drowning and then hand you another baby. Yes. Yeah, um, especially during the, uh, the the times in our our life when things weren't going as as well financially or emotionally, physically, things things were bad at times, and uh, that's usually when we ended up with another kid. <laughs> it's true. How do you really like driving a bus? I I don't mind it. I would rather drive like a big truck. I'm a small guy, so I have that little guy complex where I want to drive big things. Um, and the van does that. <laughs> also, it's fun to uh, blow by people in my monster van because they think it's not going to go very fast, and it does. For reference, he doesn't actually drive a bus. The question was about our Ford Transit. So we know you like cats. Do. do you want more cats? I, I feel like you can never have too many cats. Um, <laughs> I'm good with one dog. I think a second dog would be okay, but many cats. I would rather have like a full-size farm where you could just have numerous cats that you might not even know about them. <laughs> but I think they are beneficial. We don't have issues with rodents and we don't have uh, a lot of issues with small predators because uh, our cats do their job. They do. They're functional. Yes. And snuggly. What is the next animal that you would like to get for the homestead? I still want like an actual guard dog, not the friendliest dog in, in the earth. I want an actual watchdog, one that I can um, actually feel confident about protecting the house. I've, I've been interested in uh, Irish Wolfhound. I know they're kind of weird looking, but um, they get the job done. Um, I like Great Pyrenees. They're not good security dogs other than the fact that they look like a polar bear, so they might deter people from coming into your house if they think they're gonna have to mess with a uh, polar bear. What was your initial thought when it came to starting a homestead? I didn't have an initial thought because I don't really have to do much for it. Um, I don't have to maintain a garden. I don't have to uh, really do anything because you enjoy doing it. Um, I do. In fact, you won't let me mow the lawn. It's because true. you like mowing the lawn. 
It's true. So all I have to do is uh, earn money so that you can buy the stuff to do the homestead, which, okay, I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even get dirty. Thank you for your sacrifice. <laughs> uh, speaking of earning the money, another question. What do you do for a job? I am in the cybersecurity field. It's the easiest explanation, but it's more of a, a, a cybersecurity adjacent. Um, it's it's more of an uh, IT security audit type role. Um, more specifically, dealing with uh, third parties that we do business with. So anyone that we would be um, having network connections with or sharing sensitive information with, I do assessments on them to make sure that they can adequately protect our information when we give it to them. And this one comes from Michelle over at A Common Life. How did you meet and how did you know that I was the one? Um, we met in college. Um, I remember first seeing Megan uh, in, I think it was, I don't remember the name of the class, but it was one of the freshman first semester classes, um, human development maybe? Yeah, I think it was. I think it was human development and in the big, um, in the big room in the biology building. In the auditorium. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I just, I noticed you because you were really tall and you were with another redheaded guy who was really tall. Um, and I assumed you were twins. And I was like, wow, that's, that's pretty cool. Those are giant twins with red hair. We weren't twins. I was dating him. I mean, it, and really never went beyond that for the first semester. And then in the second semester of freshman year, um, we were in English together and we were randomly paired up uh, with a third person um, to do a project. I don't remember what the project was. I don't think I actually had any input into the project. I think Megan did the whole thing and we got a good grade. <laughs> um, that, was, that was really it. Um, we started, we, we connected immediately. Right around that same time that we were grouped together was also her birthday, and um, she invited me to hang out, and, and we just chatted. And that first night we we hung out. Um, I think we we just I think we stayed up until about four or five a.m. just talking, talking about life, um, our our backgrounds, and um, and I think that. A couple days later, she invited me to a uh, church yep. back at, back in her hometown, which was, I don't know, about an hour away. And um, so I went from really not knowing her at all to knowing her and her family within about a week. It's just It was an instant kind of emotional connection because we were so similar um, in our upbringings and, and our, our personal beliefs and morals and everything. And how did you know I was the one when you uh, decided to pop the question? Well, I think the joke last time was because you said yes. Um, <laughs> but I was never a, um, I guess I was a, a serial monogamist in that um, I, I didn't like dating and I didn't want to date around and, and meet a lot of different people. Um, I was with someone that I enjoyed being with um, and I didn't I didn't see as, as necessary as um, you know continuing to date for forever. Um, that's not the point of dating. The point of dating is to find out whether or not this is someone you want to commit with, uh, commit to for the rest of your life and get married to. So um, after I don't know it's, Ten months or so, I think I had figured that out, and I don't, I don't think it really takes that long to determine whether or not someone is the right fit for you. Yeah, yeah. you proposed to me when we'd been together for a year and a half. And the last question: 
Do you want more kids? I don't. I don't don't want more kids. <laughs> I guess is the like. I don't necessarily feel like. Um, I want to continue to. To try to have kids. But I think if there was a mis you know a mistake in timing or something, and we ended up with more kids, I w it wouldn't hurt my feelings. Thanks for sticking around. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Maybe. Maybe. I think subscribes on this side. The bell's on this side. If you want to get, <laughs> if, if you want to get notified whenever uh, Megan uploads a video, <laughs> you gotta you gotta smash that <laughs> smash that bell. Thank you, honey. Yeah, you're welcome.